Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 3, the Definitive Edition. So on this part, we're going to be doing the Yardy missions, who are led by um, King Courtney. We're going to be doing all the payphone missions, and I'm going to show you guys a mission at, at the end, which, in my opinion, is the scariest um, GTA mission of all time, which um, I remember when I was a kid, that mission gave me nightmares. So here we go. Let's do this. This is King Courtney. Me yardy posse could do with them rude boy driver and people is saying you the man. Get to the waste ground opposite the stadium in a car and wait for the other hopefuls. I've got been watching checkpoints all over Staten. First driver to a checkpoint gets the bling bling. Then it's on to the next stop. If you get more checkpoints than any other driver, I can have me a little work for you. So King Courtney wants Claude to prove himself. And so, um, uh, Claude has to win the race that King Courtney tells Claude to go to. But, um, we need a better car than this. We need something, um, we need something decently fast. Like, the, ta the taxi's just not gonna do it. Um, if you're having trouble finding, um, a good car, there are some good cars usually in the parking lot of um, Asuka's condo, and um, you can also get the Yakuza um, Stinger, which is a great car. Very fast and easy to find, but we're going to be using the Banshee here in this case. So this is a very different kind of race. Instead of like a traditional like lap race or start to finish race, in this race you have to collect the most amount of checkpoints to win. Yeah, this Banshee is definitely helping. They're gonna get that one. Damn. Okay. Okay, damn, getting some bad luck here. Whichever racer gets 15 checkpoints first, they win. Okay. Or it might not be 15 checkpoints, it might be until all the checkpoints are gone. I think there might be 15 checkpoints in total. Damn, yeah, they got that one. Okay. Welcome back. This is Andy. Playing all the best music on the Lips 106 Express. A little bit of a strange race because you never know where the next checkpoint is going to spawn. And once it's picked up, you can't get it again. Oh, whoa. Okay, good thing I didn't flip the car. Oh yeah, it looks like they're going to get that one. Might as well just get ready for the next checkpoint. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Damn, they got two more. Okay. But we're gonna get this one. Okay, we might be able to make this one. 
how to really push it here. I think this is the final checkpoint. Yep, okay. So it's based on, um, I think there's 15 checkpoints in total. That's what it is. There's 15 in total, and then the person that picks up the most amount once all of them are picked up wins the race. That's how it works. I need to see if you're capable of doing me dirty work. See if you're family or not, don't you know? Two of my boys will be there any second to take you for a ride. See if you use the article or a sister or something. So these two guys are going to help you on the mission, and the thing is though, is in GTA Liberty City Stories, you help the Yardies also, and then for some reason the Yardies just turned against Tony, We're going and... for a little ride into Epburn Heights, kill me some filthy Diablo boo-boo's been batting up me Lady Queen Lizzie. You do the driving and the shooting and the dally in a boot, we'll make sure you don't get cold feet. Here, you'll need a piece. Peace means gun, by the way. Slang term. Laughing vampires dance! Let's drive. Okay, so now we get go on over to Hepburn Heights, but in uh, Liberty City Stories, for some reason, even though you were on good terms with the Yardies, they, they turn against you. And it's unknown why. People were saying that there was a, a deleted mission in Liberty City Stories that um, caused the Yardies to turn against you. But I don't know if that was, never, uh, if that was necessarily ever proven. Um, I'd have to look that up. There might have been. But um, the Yardie missions, for the most part, they're not too hard. Um, they're just pretty long. Um, you gotta do a lot of driving in the Yardie missions. So here we're going to, on this one, we're going to Hepburn Heights. This is Diablo Turf. Okay, so here we are. Oh, well, there's an ice cream truck. That Those are one of the rarest vehicles in GTA 3. Hepburn Heights. Let's kill me some filthy Diablos. Remember, you win this to the end, man. All your corner. You don't leave the car. Okay. Oh, that guy wasn't a Diablo. Okay. Okay, there's one. Oh, we got a wanted level. Um, and just basically just drive around the street, and you will um, you'll see the Diablo. See. Okay, four dead, and this is the point when um, the Diablos turn on Claude at this point. So, um, after this mission, the Diablos will be hostile to Claude. Okay, that should do it. Now get us back to the yard. Go, 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 now! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm being chased now. Okay, this is getting annoying. Damn, this, this, this Diablo car is getting really annoying. My god. They, 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 this one just won't stop. I'm scared about leaving the car, because I think that you have to... If you get out of this car at any point in the mission, I think it fails the mission. Oh my god, this is so annoying right now, this guy. Okay. Okay, and there's also a bribe in this um, alley. Okay, so looks like we lost them. I think we're good on that. So I'm not going to risk getting out of the car here because I don't want to fail this mission. Oh, great. Uh, car turned quickly there, of course. Okay, now we just get back to the um, Yardie territory. Uh, Yardies control Newport, I believe. Yes, Newport. That's the neighborhood that they control in, um, uh, in GTA 3 and in... Um, uh, yeah, in GTA 3 and in the uh, Liberty City Stories. Okay, you're the kind of man we like as friend now. You're iry man, real shooter. Okay, so there we go. We completed that, um, that Yardy mission. Let's do the next one now. I 
I want you to steal me some gang car so we can do some naughty thing on our enemy turf. I want me a Mafia Sentinel, a Yakuza Stinger, and a Diablo Inferno so we can hit up any gang in Liberty. Drop them off at the garage in Newport and hear this. They're no use to me all broke up now. He said broke up, but the, the subtitle said wrecked. So, um... Uh... King Courtney, he wants the um, uh, Diablo um, uh, Diablo Stallion, Yakuza Stinger, and Mafia Sentinel. Um, those are from the Leone Gang, the Yakuza, and the um, Diablos. And he wants them so that uh, his guys can infiltrate each of the gang turf and do, do drive-bys on them. So that's the garage that we can uh, we can take it to. Now the first car that I recommend getting when you do this is to get the Mafia Sentinel. And the reason is, is because even though it's the farthest one, the Mafia territory is the most risky. And so if you die, you know, you gotta restart obviously. So the Mafia can blow you up pretty quickly. So just try your luck, get the Mafia Sentinel first, and then go back and get the other cars. So a lot of driving in this mission. You gotta drive to Portland two times because that's where the Diablo car, the Diablo Stallion and the Mafia Sentinel is. Now it just it just scares me driving into um uh driving into uh into St. Mark's. This is just terrifying. Now why is St. Mark's so bad? The reason St. Mark's is so bad is because of the shotgun hell. Now you guys are gonna know what I'm talking about when I say shotgun hell. Yeah, look at this. Look at the car already. Okay, so there's a Mafia car right here. I wish that they had, like, a feature where, you know, I know it's a 2001 game, but, like, if you drove around in, like, the gang's car, they wouldn't shoot at you in their territory. Um, so right there you can get an armor and a free AK-47. I just always go there. Okay, so now we just... Gotta get out of here. God, the shotguns. Oh, man. Still taking hits. Man, this thing is not in good shape, too. But there's always a Mafia Sentinel Park there. I'm gonna get this car fixed. Okay, there we go. So King Courtney wants them in perfect condition, and we also don't want to get it blown up. Oh, I love this song. And I would say that the Mafia Sentinel is probably the best car in this game. Because it's really fast, and it can hold three other people inside it. You know what's so ironic about this? That, like, some of these songs that were designed for, like, GTA 3, because this, this song was made for GTA 3. Um, this song is, like, so peaceful and calm, and yet you're playing as, like, a, a, as a complete psychopath, like, Claude. Mafia gang car boosted, okay. So just drive around Hepburn Heights, and you will eventually find a Diablo. This main street is pretty good. Because usually they will, um, uh, they'll drive the, the Diablo Stingers down them. Okay, there is one right there. Diablo Stinger, really easy to tell. You can just see the engine on the top. Oh, God, no. Okay, now we just gotta get this out of here. And Diablo, um, uh, Stallion is really fast. Okay, we took a little bit of damage. Let's just get this thing repaired. Because King Courtney wants these in perfect condition. Great. Ok, 
Okay. A little bit of a scratch and some... Yeah, the bumper's a bit messed up, but I think I can still deliver it. Okay, just careful not to hit any of the walls here. There we go. Now we just need the Yakuza Stinger. So the Yakuza Stinger, really easy. It's just literally a block away, or maybe more like two blocks away. Very easy. Jump right down here, and it will always be here. Um, right near Asuka's apartment, or condo. from the station that could give you more because we pay our employees less. Built from cheap labor from Zambia, El Salvador, and Paraguay. This is Head Radio. I used to be concerned and... There we go, we got it. Now, King Courtney has one final mission now, and this mission is the, um, uh, the I think the scariest GTA mission of all time, so let's do it right now. So here, we're going to be doing the scariest GTA mission of all time, in my opinion, Kingdom Come. I'm going to tell you guys why this mission is so scary. You also get a trophy. Get your little self over to Bedford Point. There's a stash in an old jalopy. I need quick smart now. So when somebody in a GTA game boss tells you to go and pick up a car, that's usually a really bad sign. Um, but he wants some, uh, King Courtney wants Claude to go and pick up this car. So now you guys are thinking, you know, what could be so scary in this mission, if you've ever seen this mission before? What could be so bad about this mission? I don't even think the mission's a bad mission, I actually kind of like it in a way. But it's really creepy. So you have like a minute, what, 30 seconds, minute 20 seconds to get over there, which is plenty of time though. Okay, so look at this now, guys. This is just terrifying. I hear you've been a busy boy. Well, I've been a busy girl. I think it's time you witnessed the real power of Spang. Bezos and Fuderas, Catalina. Die, Peg, die. So, Catalina has sent the um, Spank addicts after you. This. Look at this. Special delivery. Come here. All the drug addicts have suicide bomb vests. You want to shoot the drug addicts right as they're, um... Great, that explosion blew me up. Don't let them corner you. You, the micro SMG is probably the best weapon on this because you can use it while shoot, uh, move and shoot. So King Courtney sold you out to Catalina. That you know how much how many nightmares that gave me when when I was a kid when they they, they would just keep saying special delivery. Special delivery. Oh great, the cops are after me now too. When they're just the drug addicts are just laughing like maniacally when they're charging you, which is so creepy. So there we go. Oh man. That that mission that that mission just terrified me so much when I was a kid. So that was um uh, that was King Courtney's final mission there. There's no more Yardy missions after this. I got cops after me now, even though I was the one being attacked. But um uh, the thing is now the Yardies will actually turn a hostile to you. So whenever you go back to Newport now the Yardies will go after you. So let me just show you guys that.
Whoa, whoa, what the? What was that? Okay, that was a weird glitch. Definitive Edition still has a ton of problems. Uh, this right here, this is Newport. And so now the Yardies are going to um, uh, shoot at you whenever you're in this neighborhood. Um, let's see if we can see any on the streets here. Okay, there's one. Yeah, see, so they will shoot at you now. So now this this neighborhood isn't safe now either. So that's another gang that Claude is pissed off. Claude pisses off the most amount of gangs in a GTA game. When I really think about it, yeah, Claude has the most amount of gangs after him. So I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. On the next part, we'll do Ray Machowski's missions. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Take care, everyone.